Hey, Santa Cruz. Uh, I'm here because I go to San Diego City College and I'm the Visionary Feminist Club president. Um, and I pretty much co-organize the rally here. Um, my name is Evan Knopp. I currently go to UCSD, but I work at City College, and um, I transferred from City College, and um, I am representing my union as well, which is AFT. What was the uh, the, the report from, uh, so you said City College today? Because uh, we were documenting a lot of things at UCSD, so can you maybe tell us, like, eyewitness, what you saw over there? Yes, um, at 11.30, most, uh, I would say, 75% of students walk out campus and they did a protest around um, the, the in the main quad. Um, we had a speak out and then we had a teach out in front of our building where we met with other students uh, from San Diego High and Garfield High School um, and a few from King Chavez uh, Prep. Um, we pretty much uh, united for the struggle because it's their education, future education, is our education now as community college students. We're the most impacted since there's no classes at the community college level to complete our transfer requirements. Um, there's no money for our classes. There's no, um, there's actually no classes itself. We have rooms that don't even have internet access. Um, so we were there to support them and then at the same time support us as we transfer and struggle to transfer um, to higher education. Some of us plan on being there only two years and the matter of fact is that some of us been there five to six years um, and, and it's not that we're bad students, it's that there's no classes that fill the requirements to transfer and there's no financial aid since um, our college has criminalized for the financial aid system giving that if you withdraw a class for lack of funding or the lack of books, they will count with a percentage of withdrawals you have and you're disqualified for financial aid. So it's the criminalization of, um, of the poor uh, because they're not able to pay because there's not um, enough financial aid packets for everyone, especially the AB 540, which is undocumented students. Um, and we are a diverse school with, uh, with a high, uh, majority of the students it's a minority um, that are seeking to transfer and they just can't transfer we are encouraged to take technical um, programs because they know that it's going to be hard for us to go for to a, a four-year university so why is your voice hoarse today um, it's gone because i was leading the march here i was at the front of the march and uh, i i did a teach out i talked about the intersections of gender, race, class, um, sexual orientation, and how they affect, and um, those identities that we are, they affect um, pretty much the way in we're oppressed because we're the minorities, we're the people of color, we're the women, um, we're the undocumented, we're the disabled, and we tend to be the most marginalized. Um, and we're seeing the hate um, from UCSD to UC Santa Cruz, we've seen the homophobia at Davis and Irvine. Um, so we, as minorities, trying to go to these places, we're getting the message that we're not welcome there. Um, so that's why we're leading this here. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, the, the role that the union, your union, has been pl playing in this particular activism today? Um, I'm not sure um, so much about today in particular, but I know that um, our union leader, Jim Miller, is going to be marching from um, Los Angeles to Sacramento um, in solidarity with um, everything that's been going on here in the organizations against, uh, organization against the budget cut. And I know um, at City College in particular, you know, we already have such a low, um, you know, you know, such a high uh, student to faculty uh, ratio and I mean I think any community college student that tries to go see a counselor and try to get an ed plan um, knows just how much um, how much this budget kind of has affected us and as workers at um, City College and myself as a worker at City College I've seen how um, you know they've, they've they cut more and more jobs but more and more students at the same time are trying to come into the system to take less classes and um, you know, I really think organized labor uh, could be a huge part in trying to correct some of this. Okay. And you're a part of, uh, you go to school at UCSD, right? Yes, that's right. And you go to school at City College, right? Yes. What sort of a cross sort of school dialogue has been happening as an example of the two of you, who I guess know each other since you are together? So can you give me an example of what kind of cross dialogue has been happening across um, campuses? We re also represent education for all. 
which is a coalition between community college students, the community and uh, four-year universities like UCSD and San Diego State. We've been meeting at San Diego City College for the last five, six months every Friday. And the conversation is that the overall the impacts are the same. The, the people that are being targeted are the minorities or the women. Um, and that's the overall sentiment that we are not wanted um, in the higher educational institutions. That we are, um, now we have institutionalized racism and um, we're pretty much are getting the message everywhere that if they're there, they're pushed to come back to community colleges. If they're at community colleges, we just say, you're not welcome here either. So we don't belong anywhere, but taking full-time jobs, low-paying jobs, minimum wage jobs, um, pretty much the message is across to our students that we're not suitable for doctors, lawyers, none of those good jobs and careers. Um, they, they're trying to um, take the spirit first and then eventually um, get rid of us in that way in the educational system. And we're seeing it. There's not enough of us. Um, at the four years. So by coming to this building today, what is the strategy uh, in addition to a rally? Has there been any plans to do civil disobedience? Is it primarily a show of force? Uh, how would you, how would you, since you led the rally, what is the, the objectives and the goals behind this particular spot today? Um, this is a, the first message for uh, our governor that we have come together. We are united. We're not only the students, but the students, the community, the workforce, um, the unions, um, family members, uh, parents, that we are, our socioeconomic status is basically, uh, our basis of it is because of lack of education. And this is our message that um, we are now the majority in this state. And since we're the um, number one state as far as we can be our own country, why not have free education? If we're not being respected, uh, a few of the de demands, um, we are now demanding free education um, because there's enough money. They're just not allocating it to the right places. And do you have anything else you'd like to add then? Um, just that uh, I think that the response at UCSD today was really amazing. And um, I think it's great that UCSD students are here in, um, in you know, solidarity with community colleges because I think um, that you know when we think about like what's been happening you know a lot of a lot of the students of color a lot of the lower income students have been transfer students and um, and I really think that uh, UC students should be in solidarity of community colleges and realize that fact and, um, and you know think about what's happening in community colleges as well and not just um, you know kind of contain it to the UC campuses 